Hello, this is Kevin Schrock for UFTV Coaches Corner. Today we're joined with University of Findlay head men's soccer coach Andy Smith. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Thanks, Kevin. Well, this past Sunday against Walsh, you actually had a pretty big accomplishment in your own career. Got not your 200th victory. How special is that for you to get that? Yeah, it felt, felt good. I didn't actually realize it at the time until uh, the, the, the players uh, told me. I, I was hoping that victory would have come a lot sooner, maybe five <laughs> years sooner, but uh, always nice to win. Yeah. Well, yeah, you guys are having a whole lot of success this year. Maybe struggled a little bit the past few years, but what's the difference between this year's team and years of the past? Well, the core of a team is, is players that haven't experienced success, but I think we're hungry for success. Mm -hmm. um, those guys, I think, kind of made a, a mental adjustment. They wanted to be successful this year. Um, the incoming class that we have has melded really nicely with those returning players. and I'd, I think it's always been the last two or three years some players that could have taken that next step and haven't really been quite ready. Everything has just come together this year. You know, I think the, the quality of the classes that we've got over the last three years has, has improved. Join with this incoming class, everything has just come together at the, at the right time. So I don't think it's really just this season, it's been a, a building process. Mm -hmm. The last time you guys experienced success like this maybe was back in 2003 when you made the run to the NCAA Final Four. How does this year's team compare to that team? It's a little less experienced. That team was um, senior laden. I think in, in the starting lineup for the team was probably eight or nine seniors. This, this team is much younger, um, less experienced, but I think in terms of talent we're 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 right there, so um, you know, fa favorable comparison, but a little less experience this year. Sure, Slee's been one of the guys that's kind of leading your team so far this year. He's always been kind of a leader on the team, it seems like, but this year it seems like he's jumped maybe another notch. Yeah, he's he's definitely picked it up. I mean, Mark is doing everything on the field and off the field. He, he's he's always been a really hard worker. Um, his work's paying off this year, and he's getting goals. Um, as well as just creating opportunities. I think, you know, in the past we would have said Mark creates a lot, lot of opportunities, perhaps doesn't score as many as he should this year. He's scoring um, and he's got the intangibles, you know, he's just a real, a real leader that the kids on the team look up to. Um, he, he can be serious when it's, when it's appropriate, but he's also one of the, one of the guys as well. So he, he manages to, you know, to do everything from, from, uh, from both perspective so uh, it'll, it'll be it'll, there'll be a big loss for us when Mark uh, graduates but at the same time it's great to see him you know finally realize his potential and and be successful as a member of a team as well as just an individual yeah who else has kind of stepped up alongside him taking on leadership responsibilities well Ryan year? Reapus is, a, is another guy he's another one of our captains he, he plays a, a more unheralded role he's a defensive midfielder so he doesn't get the stats perhaps that Mark does but he He's invaluable for us, um, you know, plays a lot of minutes, um, just does a lot of the dirty work defensively that, you, you know, you don't get a lot of credit for. Um, and then Jordan Gazelski has done really well for us. He, he got a couple of goals yesterday. Uh, just a player that, you know, when he's on, you really can't, you can't play with him. And then our, our back, back four and our goalkeeping has, has been good as well. That's been a, a definite upgrade since last year. And it's still a relatively young, group of guys, mostly sophomores and, and freshmen. So, um, you know, there's, there's a number of individuals you could, you could point to, but I think, you know, just as a team, everything has kind of come together nicely. And it's, this is just hopefully a start of that process. Yeah, McClanahan and the goal seems to just keep getting better and better. I mean, what do you see from him improving? Yeah, Joe's done well. He, he's splitting time with Ben Richter this year. Mm -hmm. um, between the two of them, they've both done very well defensively. I think we've been a lot stronger. We've had um, two games against Northwood and Saginaw when everything kind of went south for us. We, you know, we made a lot of mistakes and let in a lot of goals, but you take those two games out of the picture and all of our games have been um, very close defensively um, with, with limited teams. Joe and Ben in goal, um, you know, have limited the number of, of chances that other teams have had. And it's a kind of a different season for them. In, in the past, Joe has had to make a lot of saves this year. They're just, because our defence is a lot better, there aren't as many 
saves to make. So it's, you know, it's, it's been different for him and, and different for Ben as well in goal. Does that take some of the pressure off the offense too, knowing they have a defense this year that can stop, stop them from scoring as well? Yeah, definitely, because I think in the past, if, uh, if we weren't scoring or we didn't score relatively early in the, the game, then I think everyone got a little bit nervous that if we let in one goal, that was, that was going to be it. And that was often the case. I think everyone is a lot more confident in our in our defence in general, not, and not just even the back four and the goalkeeping, but I think defence from front to back has been a lot improved this year. Yeah, so last question, I guess. I mean, what's it going to take to finish out this season strong and maybe make a run at a GLIAC championship, maybe even NCAA tournament again? Well, it, it's, it's definitely possible. I mean, everything, I think, right now is within our control. I mean, historically, looking at the way um, the committee picks teams to get into the playoffs, I think if we, if we win out, we would have a very, very good shot of getting into the NCAA playoffs because we would have beaten Northwood, we would have beaten Saginaw, both of those teams are nationally ranked. Um, there's a couple of non-conference games that, uh, that we did well in that are going to help us in, in regard to the, to, the, uh, to the playoffs. I guess right now our, our number one goal, the players' number one goal is that they want to get into the GLIAT playoffs. We haven't accomplished that yet. We need three points out of our last three GLIAT games to guarantee us that. Um, I think we're definitely capable of, of doing that. Um, and then after that, anything else will be a bonus. We'll just see how, you know, see where the chips uh, fall. Yep. All right. Well, best of luck, Coach. Once again, this is Kevin Schrock for UFTV. You can check us out on uftv.finley.edu. Thanks for watching.